The Quack Quiz, proudly brought to you by Discam, pharmacists to care. It is hard to make big changes in life because the energy and time commitment is often just too great. The problem though isn't knowing what to do, it's simply doing it. Getting healthy doesn't mean having to overhaul your entire lifestyle. Just a couple of key tweaks in behavior can have a domino effect on your other health-related habits with lasting benefits. And I couldn't think of anyone better to epitomize those changes into making a massive difference than Cabello Mabalane, a friend and a fellow health fanatic. Really good <laughs> having the studio, man. Awesome. Mate. Awesome. Yeah, man. Listen, you had an epiphany, I don't know, seven or eight years ago, battled to tie your shoelaces because your stomach got in the way. It's I find it hard to believe. Yeah. But tell me about it. Uh, you know what, Mike? I've been a very active young man. I mean, I played first team rugby at St. Stithians. Uh, I used to row, played squash, very, very active. From a young age, I played tennis. So when the, you know, the music industry, uh, entertainment industry got the better of me, I kind of just remember that guy, you know? Um, but I remember it all started when I got clean from, you know, drugs and, and cigarettes and alcohol, and I stopped smoking and then um, I started eating a lot, so I, I think that was a kind of cross addicted, as it were. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I put on all this weight, and I just remember around 2004 when I was trying to tie my shoelaces and my cat was in the way. I was like, this is not how my life is going to end. I have to do something. And you did, man. I mean, I'm not, I'm not known for looking at other men's legs, but those <laughs> calves have run seven comrades. I think they're going to be running an eighth in yeah. a couple of weeks' time. They're running. That's amazing. Yeah, it's been an awesome journey. Uh, I'm alive, you know, just so much vitality. I've got so much to give. Um, and, and, and that's why I do it, you know. And I'm looking forward to comrades this year, uh, running my first silver. Silver has eluded me for the past three comrades, but this time I'm doing, a, you know, lots of running specific stuff, which is going to ensure that I do reach my goal. In a nutshell, why is it so important to you to be healthy and holistic in terms of life? It's all about the legacy. You know, I, I made a lot of financial mistakes as a, as a young man. So having grown and, and, and learned, I realized that I need to leave a financial legacy. I need to leave behind a spiritual legacy and a health legacy to family, my community. Uh, my children, you know, I've recently gotten married and I'm starting a family this year. So it's important to leave those legacies behind and that's why I do it. I don't do it uh, only for me as much as, you know, uh, I'm living in the body and it's really, really fantastic. But it's also for our community and, and, and the country at large to show that uh, there's benefits, um, you know, when you do make that change. And you've led the charge well, man. You're a shining light. I mean, the, the shows, the kind of just if Cabela can do it, it's just amazing. So congratulations. No, thank you. That's what you're trying to do on Hello Doctor, yeah. man. But now what I don't want to do is to knock your hero from his pedestal, because I've got these 10 questions uh, all around small changes that make big differences. I'm, a, I'm guessing you're going to get most of these, because I know I how hope. much you know. I hope. But uh, do the quack quiz now, see how much you know compared to Cabello. And if you beat him, phone me, man. I'd be very <laughs> impressed. So, hey, dude, you're ready for this. 10 questions. Okay, sweet. Knock this out the park. First question, how long after eating should it take before you feel full? Is it 5 to 10 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes? How long after eating should you feel full? Yeah. How long does it take to begin to feel full? To begin? Yeah. I'd say 50 to 20 minutes. Yes! Oh, man, if you got that wrong, <laughs> please don't. No, you're so right. 50 to 20 minutes. And, and why that's important, and you need to know this, is there's a lag between your, when your mouth says mmm and your brain registers fullness in your stomach. And if you put your fork down between bites and pace yourself, will give your brain more time to tell your stomach that you're full and you'll consume less calories. Drinking water is a good way to lose weight. How should you drink it? Two glasses 30 minutes before each meal or at least two liters throughout the day? Mm, I've actually just undergone a really like a water kick. So I'd go with two liters throughout the day. Uh, you know, for mere mortals, two liters a day. <laughs> for I, you know, <laughs> you know, just for that, you're wrong. <laughs> The truth is, is it two glasses it's two before? glasses before each meal. Really? 30 all, minutes before? Yeah, and all that's based on is a, is a study that was done on dieters, overweight dieters, in terms of when they drank water. And those that drank water just before their meals lost on average two kilograms more than their non-water drink. Wow. Water bottle, so, uh, wow. All right, how can you ensure top quality production of the sleep hormone 
melatonin. Okay, we need that. Uh, is it A, by turning TV and gadgets off an hour before bed, or by drinking a glass of warm milk before you turn it? Drinking a glass of warm milk before. It's not actually. Bella. <laughs> and you've got people going, yes, I'm well, I'm well, you know. It, it's actually turning TV and gadgets off really? before the time. And the reason is, is the light from your computer or TV screen suppresses the release of that sleep-promoting hormone, melatonin. Yeah. So you'd be much better off, uh, and it you know, promotes kind of alertness, so you'd be much better off to read a book curl up in bed you fall asleep much taking a daily dose of which of these vitamins can reduce anemia memory loss fatigue weakness digestive problems i mean a whole host of good things vitamin b or vitamin c i'll go with b because i take one every two weeks <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> okay that's too right so far oh, you're so right vitamin b's are great i yeah. mean they do all sorts of good things uh, in fact you can get them in uh, fish meat poultry eggs I and mean, you would know that or take them as a supplement i take it as a shot Take it as a shot. Mm. An apple a day keeps the doctor away, but which is better to do, eat it or drink it? Eat it. Yeah, you're so right. Do you know why? Uh, when you eat it, you still get some of the fibers and nutrients. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And what fiber does is it slows down the release or the, the absorption of sugar into your blood, and it makes that apple low GI. It keeps it low GI, oh, which yeah. is great. If you drink it, there's none of that fiber, and that's often why fruit juices have been associated with high diabetes rates in kids. Brilliant. Staying motivated during exercise is tricky, not for uh, demigod Cabello. <laughs> <laughs> what can help? Listening to music or buying new exercise kit? It doesn't have to be uh, Cabello's Reebok kit that you see out there. Um, music or kit? Both make me re feel really good, but I'll, I'll go with listening to music. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> uh, music, is especially yeah. uh, your music, I suppose. Do you listen to your music? Mm, yeah, 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 music? yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to your music. Yeah, yeah. I listen to my music when no one's there. So in the earphones, no one knows I'm listening to my music. That's cool. <laughs> A simple way to improve your memory is to brush your teeth with your other hand or to eat green beans three times a week. Brush your teeth with your other hand. Yeah. yeah. Okay, what made you say that? I'd imagine it's got some, it awakens some cognitive skill yes. somewhere. Because yeah. it's, it's, because I'm right handed. So if you start brushing with your left, it must do something. Do something. <laughs> do something's good enough. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. It challenges your brain. I mean, yeah. you, these neurons get kind of laid down. Using your, your non dominant hand to do simple chores can improve your mood and your memory simply by stimulating the growth of neurons linked to long term memory and moods. So we're. Awesome. Brush your teeth with the other hand. Doing which of these can add an average of four years onto your life? A, watch less TV, or B, meditate? This is one of those like obvious ones, but... I know you do both. <laughs> <laughs> I'd so say meditate. I thought you might say that, because mm. I know you're a meditating man and a praying man, but the truth is, an extra four years added on to your life by, what, by not watching TV or watching less TV. Watching less TV. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Wow. Uh, they say for every hour of television that you watch, reduces your lifespan by 20 minutes. Wow. Which is a bit counterintuitive because you're busy watching TV at the moment. So if you want to counter <laughs> that little fact, stand up and watch the rest of the show. Because it's not so much watching TV, it's that you sit and Oh, okay. And Vegetate. Yeah. Okay. Ninth question, increasing physical activity amongst kids will improve health as well as what? Academic performance or behavior? Academic performance. Yes. In fact, a new study found that uh, junior school kids who don't get enough exercise are more likely to fail maths. Interesting. Right? Wow. You were good at school, weren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just <laughs> moving on. It's moving right along. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarves may have whistled while they work, but what could you do at work to improve productivity while improving health at the same time? Fidget in your chair or squeeze in an extra afternoon snooze? Definitely squeeze in an afternoon snooze. Uh, again, trick question. And I challenge you these because I know you're sharp and you know your stuff, but actually it's fidget in your chair. Fidget? Yes. No ways. People who rock and tap and, you know, will burn more calories no just by doing that. Yeah. Fascinating, huh? Dude, thank you for being on the show. Thanks, thanks for having, having, fun thanks for having me. Thanks And most of all, I think thanks for being the inspiration that you are cool, for man. living healthy and well, wealthy, as you said, the financial legacy too. Yeah, good man. Thanks, man. Appreciate right. it. The Quack Quiz, proudly brought to you by Discam, pharmacist to care.